Let's take a look how to make colorful halftones here in After Effects and Photoshop. Now unfortunately After Effects doesn't have this RGB halftone natively so we're gonna need to improvise and let's go to File, Export and select Add to Render Quo. Let's go to Render Settings, I'm gonna go with the default, click OK and now we're gonna go to the Output Module and here at the Format we're gonna need to change it up to PNG Sequence. Click OK and about least we're gonna go to the Output 2 and I'm gonna rename it as PNG test. And I'm gonna go and check the save in subfolder and rename it PNG. Click on save and then click on render. And let's go to Photoshop and drag and drop one of the PNG frames inside of Photoshop. By the way, this is the size of the image. And what we're gonna do is go to the actions. If you don't have it, you can go to the window and select actions. And here we're gonna to need to record the process. So let's go here to the new. We rename it and let's click on record and now let's go to filter pixelate and select color halftone and for my image size i'm gonna go with the max radius on nine and the rest of the settings are going to be the same click ok and it looks something like this and now we're going to save it let's go to file save s and now i'm going to go back and choose a new location so i'm going to create a new folder and i'm going to rename this as halftone and I'm going to select the halftone folder, click on open and save. Let's click OK. And after it saves, click on the X. So it's going to close the image, but the action is still recording. So we're going to go to the window and select actions. And all you need to do is click on the stop here. So it's going to stop it. All right, so let's automate this. And I'm going to go to the file, click on automate and select batch. And let's go to the action and change it to the new action that we created. Source file is going to be folder, click on choose. And I'm going to go with the folder with the PNG. Click on select folder. And let's go to destination, change it to folder. Click on choose. And the destination is going to be here at the halftone folder. I'm going to select it, click on select folder. Here make sure to check the box with override action save as commands. Click OK. And now it's going to apply the halftone on every each frame and save it separately. And now you can see it saved every frame one by one with the halftone applied on them. After you're done, you can go back to After Effects. And I'm going to go to the project, create a new folder, rename it as CMYK. Let's go and right click on the folder, import, and select file. And here you're going to need to go to the folder with the halftone, select one of the frames, and here make sure to select PNG sequence, import as footage and make sure to check create composition. And let's click on import. This is gonna open up in a new composition, hit play, and now you can see the halftone effect applied on the video. You also get some noise if you want, right click new, select adjustment layer. Let's go to effects, type in grain, and drag it on the adjustment layer. Change up the preview to final. Here you can select the preset and increase the intensity and the size. I'm also going to add some posterize and I'm going to add the posterize time under the grain and I'm going to decrease it to 12. And finally, these are the results. And that's it. Thanks for watching.